Do you want to learn how to record game clips using OBS Studio in 2022? Well, lucky for you, in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you exactly that. So if that sounds good to you, make sure to drop a like on the video to help other streamers find this video. And if not for that, for this cool little blooper plushie that I found that's always on my back little futon there. But since we're on the topic of making game clips, you guys got to know about this 100% free-to-use software called Eclipse. Eclipse is an AI-powered video clip highlighting and editing platform where just a single click, you can import your past streams from your Twitch account, YouTube gaming, or Facebook account from the last 14 days. All you have to do is choose a stream, click on the Get Highlights button to create your highlights in an instant. The AI tool will automatically create short form videos that you can upload to TikTok, YouTube Shorts, and Reels to make your life that much easier. And the cool thing is you can use this both desktop and your mobile browser, so it's easy to access for everybody. So make sure to check out Eclipse. I'll leave a link in the description down below. So if you guys haven't already downloaded OBS Studio, I'll leave a link in the description down below. It's a free to use piece of software, so make sure to grab this and open it up so you'll get to the screen that we're at right now. So if we want to record our gameplay and make clips, first of all, what we need to do is set up our audio the correct way, as well as making sure we got our game capture set up. For the purposes of this tutorial, I have Halo Infinite already loaded up, ready to go, as you can see on my screen right there. So let's just go back into OBS, and once you've got your game set up, let's get started. So if we look at the bottom of our sources right here, we'll click this little plus button, and we have a few different options. Personally, if you're using at least two monitors, I would always go display capture. It captures everything on your screen, so you know if you're browsing on your desktop, you're browsing the internet, or if you just have a game up, it's going to capture everything that's on there at that one time. So if I go and make this display capture right here, I can capture my first monitor, which is absolutely a mind trick because it's capturing the same monitor. So you can see that little uh, thing going on here. But if I were to minimize this, it would be capturing Halo. So if I click on my other monitor, I'll click on display three. That's my Streamlabs OBS. And so you get the point. So basically it's going to record whatever is on that screen at that time. But if you're rocking one monitor, or if you don't feel comfortable showing everything on your screen, I'll show you guys a different route. So if you're comfortable with this, click OK. If not, you can always just highlight this, press the delete key, and remove it by pressing yes. So if you wanted to use a different route, we could do the plus button under sources, and we could use game capture, or window capture it's up to you if one of the options doesn't work for you just choose the other one but i'm going to click game capture i'm going to click ok and then we'll have our mode it says capture any full screen application capture specific window i'm going to go to my window i'm going to find halo infinite i'll click on that as you can see, it automatically brought up the window, and I'm going to click OK. Sometimes game capture doesn't work for some people, depending on the game. A lot of the time, it depends on what the settings are. So, like, if we go into our Halo settings, we'll go under Settings, go to your Video tab, and then Borderless Full Screen is usually the option you want to pick if the game allows it. Just go into your game settings on whatever game you're playing, and usually play on Borderless Full Screen to have the least amount of issues. But given this as well, sometimes the window capture will not work with your game, but just go and mess with your different video settings in the actual game to make it work for whatever game you're working for and your capture devices. So let's navigate back to OBS. So now that we've got our game captured, that's good to go. Let's go into our settings and make sure that our game is actually getting picked up. Right now it automatically is because you can see the Halo music playing in the back right there. And then you can see my microphone is getting picked up as well. We'll go to settings on the bottom right hand corner. From there, we'll click on audio, and then this is where you can mess with it. So desktop audio, this is gonna be the device that's emitting all of your audio. So whether you're listening through headphones or speakers, etc., then you'll go and navigate to that here, and that's where it's going to capture the audio. So Halo is coming out of my speakers, so that's why I have it set to speakers. Usually you can get away with default, but if you know exactly where it's coming from, it's better just to choose that. For my microphone, I already know that my microphone is plugged into my audio interface, which happens to be AudioBox USB 96. So I click that, and my microphone and my game audio is all set up, ready to go. Then you can click Apply right here, and then OK. And confirm, whenever I'm talking in my microphone, it's picking it up there. You can see the bar moving up and down. And then the desktop audio will go up whenever the game actions are moving. So if I scroll in the game and use like the different UI, then you can see the little the bar move up and down. So that's a way to confirm that for the next step on the actual recording I'm gonna show you two different ways to do it so we'll go to the settings again from here we'll click on output we're gonna see these different tabs up here click on recording and the only thing you really need to change here type I'm gonna leave it to standard make sure you set a recording path so this is gonna be the folder that all of your different recordings are gonna be saved to those are gonna be the files if you don't have a recording path here click browse and then you can go and make a new folder or select a folder so that way you can set up all of your different save files to that folder you can change your recording format to mp4 so if you are using a microphone and your game volume then what you can do here is make it easier on yourself for editing the video and clips later 
So right now I'm using two audio tracks. What that means is the video file is gonna have a separate audio track for the game volume and a separate track for my mic. That makes it easier for me during the editing process to balance my audio levels and volume. So just to make this a little bit easier to understand, let me show you what I mean by the separate audio tracks. So if I have two separate audio tracks, I'm just gonna grab a clip that I recorded with two separate audio tracks, dragging it into my video editing software. And as you can see down here, I have two separate audio tracks. This top one is the gameplay volume, and the second one is me on the microphone. So that way, you know, if I want to turn myself down, but I want to make the game volume louder, I have the freedom to be able to do that. Versus if you just have one audio track, then these will both be smushed on the same one. So you can't make your voice quieter and the game volume louder, it's gonna just make everything harder to edit. So the option is really up to you guys. So since I have two audio tracks, I've assigned them different audio tracks in the mixer. And so we'll click OK. We'll click on any of our audio mixers here. We'll click on the little cog wheel, advanced audio properties. And so as you can see, track one is my desktop audio, but it is not on track two. Mic is on my track two, but not my track one. If you guys are like, you know, this is too complicated for me. I don't care about splitting the audio levels and I'm not gonna edit it in a video editing software. You can just put both of these on track one, worry about nothing else. So if you guys want it simple, just put them both on audio track one. You can just upload it straight to YouTube, whatever. But if you plan on editing this in an editing software and you really care, then you're gonna wanna split up the tracks and then you'll do that later. And then from here, if you only have one audio track, then just uncheck two, you just have one. But if you're splitting it up like I am and you plan on editing it later, you have audio track one and audio track two. Hopefully that made sense. I'm not trying to confuse you guys, but I am trying to give you the best knowledge that you guys can get. For the encoder, if you have NVIDIA NVEC, always choose this one or whatever your graphics card is. If you don't, choose X264. Or if you have an AMD, then you can pick that one. But if you got NVIDIA NVEC, stick with that. Other than that, you guys can kind of copy my settings here, depending on what kind of computer you're running on. But these settings will give you 1080p quality for your footage. If you guys really want to get crazy with it with 4K, then I'll leave another link in the description down below where you guys can check different settings if your computer can handle it. Click apply, make sure we apply all of these settings. And so this is just method one of two, we'll click okay. All we have to do is click start recording button right here. You can see that it says recording one, two, three, you know, it's counting the recording seconds. It's recording all of it on the screen here. So if we were to go into Halo and we just move around on the menu, like so, we'll go to multiplayer, Maybe we'll, uh, you know, scroll the, the menus for a little bit. Maybe go to the settings. And you know what? Okay, I'm done recording. So I'm going to go back to OBS, and then I'm going to hit stop recording. So now if we navigate to the folder that we have everything saved to, we'll see the video file. If I drag it on screen right here, you can see it's under our folder that we saved it to. So I'll just double click this. We'll let it play, and I'll scroll forward. And you can see that we have recorded our gameplay. We're through the settings, everything like that. Like I said, if you guys are on two different audio tracks, if you're watching it through a media player like this, it's only going to pick up audio track one aka your game volume because you need to go into a video editing software splice it back together so if this is gibberish rewind the video and it'll make more sense but now i'm going to show you guys method two using the replay buffer so basically what the replay buffer is is while you're recording you're playing your game you're streaming you're doing whatever at any point in time you land like a sick 360 no scope on some poor noob in fortnite then all you have to do is press a hot key on your keyboard and it'll record the last like 10 seconds 20 seconds 30 seconds whatever you want to set it to and just put that in a little video file so that way you just take that video file and you just drag and drop that into youtube and it's already uploaded good to go so in order to accomplish that we go to the settings once again and then we'll go to output we'll go to replay buffer enable replay buffer and this is where you can choose the time so if you want it to record the last 10 seconds 20 seconds 30 seconds whatever this will be here let's just do 10 15 seconds i'll do 15 seconds and then i'll click apply so that way now you can see we got a little button that says start replay buffer but before we do that it's going to save to this recording path so you don't have to worry about anything about that a couple of different quality of life stuff you know you can turn on automatically start replay buffer when streaming keep replay buffer active when stream stops in case you're trying to do this while you're streaming you're trying to do two birds one stone good for you but other than that we can quickly scroll through here and make sure we're not missing anything everything looks good to me hotkeys is the last thing we need to touch on we do have to go and make sure that we have a save replay option here and if you don't see this it's because you didn't press apply after you enabled the replay buffer so let's say I want to press anytime I press f6 it's gonna save 
the replay, AKA it's going to save a clip automatically of the last 15 seconds because that's what we set it to in our folder that we designated it to. Apply, okay. Let's make sure to press the start replay buffer if we're not streaming and we just wanna, you know, record like the highlights, but you know, if we're playing Fortnite, we just wanna do the kills. I'm too lazy to do all the editing. This is probably the best method for you. So we got the replay buffer started. Nothing's recording because we haven't actually pressed the F6 key because that's just gonna record the last 15 seconds of the gameplay. Let's navigate over to Halo. So let's pretend like I'm playing a dank game of Halo right now. You know. I'm trying to get some kills and you know oh boom I just got a kill right there and then I'll give it a couple seconds and now I'm gonna press F6 right now so I just pressed F6 I just got my kill I can't wait to look at the video file so let's go over to the folder so as you can see after I pressed F6 we got a new file it says replay I'll double click this and now this will be the last 15 seconds of the gameplay so as you can see this is where I'm like oh yeah we just got that kill so if you were actually getting a kill it would show that but it's us screwing around in the menu so it's really just that simple all you have to do is just press your hotkey and it'll record whatever the last 15 seconds 20 seconds whatever you set it to and it'll give you the automatic video file i really hope this video wasn't too confusing for you guys but the beauty of youtube is you can always rewind it rewatch it and understand a part that you may not have gotten the first time around but my name is cody i hope this helped i make videos like this all the time to help new streamers just like you i want to thank my patrons for helping me afford an extra cup of coffee this week to make videos for you guys if you made it all the way to the end comment down below spooky gang and i'll see you beautiful people in the next one